Rebecca Romain here at Comic Con 2018. Lois Lane, mm -hmm. how do you feel about the title of this new movie? Well, spoiler alert, somebody dies. <laughs> and it might be Superman. <laughs> well, how was it working with your husband? You know, when we do these, uh, we do all of the voice voiceover work separately from one another. Um, and then they set it to animation and they bring us all back in and have us tweak the dialogue, but we never actually work together, ever. <laughs> we just hope that the scenes work in the end, and they do. I mean, we, we rely a lot on the directors to guide us in the right direction and, you know, help us find the correct emotional beats and, um, and it works out. Jerry and I have worked together quite a bit, actually, but it's ironic that this is possibly one of the most iconic love stories of all time and we didn't get to work together one day on it. <laughs> but we got to share a ride down here, so that's good. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, what do your kids say about your roles? Um, you know, they're less familiar with the the universe of, you know, the DC universe. Um, but they watched it last night with us and they were sobbing. I mean, they were crying in a good way. <laughs> but, you know, it might have something to do with the fact that their dad plays Superman. <laughs> yeah. What were some of the challenges in the filming? You know, I think a lot of it has to do with just when you're just doing your parts and you're, you're, you're just doing your lines and skipping ahead to, you know, four scenes later and then skipping ahead to 18 scenes later and you're like sort of jumping all over the place. So you're not actually, we're used to telling a full story. So you're, we were just like doing little smidgets of the story and hoping that it all comes together smoothly. Yeah. What are the differences between doing a live action movie and just voice work? Well, I mean, that, for example, um, exactly what I just said, it's, you know, when you're doing live action, you're, our job is to tell a full story. And when you're doing voiceover work, you're doing bits and pieces and trusting that the directors and the editor and the animators will tell the story based on what you, you know, the snippets you gave them. I and mean, we try and give them as, as many different options in the editing room as possible so that they have something to play with. But we're relying on somebody else to tell the story rather than us. Yeah. Thank you so much.